Hey Jamrin developers, this is Jamrin guys show 56 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to create an intelligent application using Microsoft Cognitive Services Computer Vision API. So let us start a new project. Then select cross platform as we are going to deal with the Jamrin forms cross platform project. Select mobile application and give it a name as you like. Here I am going to give as my vision and then click on OK. After that, we are going to select our .NET standard project and then click on OK. Now let us set our main page as our startup page. Let us see code behind of our app.xaml. As main page is equals to new my main page as my main page is already set as our startup page. Now let us directly go towards our main page.xaml. The main idea for creating an intelligent application is to create a simple UI which contains label along with buttons. When that button get clicked, then our camera application is going to start and then output is displayed in the form of labels. So let us create a content page. Here I'm using main page as my content page. Now let us add content inside our content page. Now let us create four grid rows for our given UI giving row definitions. This is my first grid row as grid row 0 and then second grid row where we will be adding our controls inside it as this is my third grid row and then this is my fourth that's all. Now let us quickly create a button giving an unique identifier as name my button and placing that button inside our grid row 1 that we have already created and I will give that text as pick photos and let it create and click handler for it as when if it get clicked then an event is going to be generated inside our code behind page the image that is going to be uploaded will be displayed inside our grid row first that is our grid row first and I will give that unique identifier name as my image so that it will be displayed inside our grid row 1 and then let us create a scroll view for our grid row second so that the image label description will be shown inside it so giving a unique identifier name as my label and then giving font size as medium and then let us place an activity indicator giving my activity indicator name as my activity indicator now let us add our activity indicator inside our grid row third that's all let us add computer vision API through our package manager console. Microsoft forget Oxford.vision. Select in all project. Along with that, we have to add plugin.media from package manager console as plugin.media. And then using James Modimarino plugin, we are going to add inside our project. Now let us close that. Close that. Now let us write code in order to analyze our image using computer vision API as private async task analyze result analysis result and this analysis result will be inside our Microsoft Cognitive Service Vision API. We'll import it later and then stream as image stream as our image is going to be analyzed over here and then let us add our client as vision client and then new vision client method and this vision client will be defined inside our microsoft pocket oxford.vision and this vision client will be getting its value from our azure portal in the form of keys as well as endpoints we'll add it later and its output are displayed in the form of tags and then we'll be returning its value asynchronously in the form of image stream to a list as well as null that's all now our last work is to select our image from our device so in order to select image we are going to use zam.plugin.media we will use crossmedia.current dot is pick photo supported method 
that is defined inside our jam.plugin.media now let us add our crossmedia.current pick photo asynchronously as we don't want to hit the main thread that's why we are going to going for asynchronous method and then from stream and then we are going to return that image to our computer vision API that's all I have to put that from back it over here that's all now let us let our activity indicator running as true when our image is uploading and then let us implement try catch method when our result get produced during time of uploading then from our image stream then we will get tags and then this tag should be placed inside our label as my label dot text as I have already given my label name inside our UI that is main page dot xaml and then the tag name that is produced along with that space I will be adding inside my label dot text and then if any mistakes are there then it will throw an exception as ex dot message that's all that will be defined inside our microsoft dot pocket of dot vision api that's all now we have to add keys as well as endpoint inside our client that is our vision client so we will get our keys as well as endpoint from our azure portal let us quickly create that from our azure portal as i have already a free account inside my azure portal let us create a new resource and then as we are going to use computer vision api let us quickly give it a name as anything we may like as my vision test and as i have a free subscription let us go for full description right here then we can select a free resource and then use existing resource you can add any resource name as you like as i have already one resource then create a new vision api from here now your api is displayed on the notification hub then grab your keys from here and then paste it inside your application i'll open my application over here and then first column should be filled with keys and then second columns are filled with endpoints again dashboard my vision test api and then on overview section then we have to grab our endpoint from here this is my endpoint then i have to copy it and then paste it inside my second column that's all now your application is ready to run i'll set my android project as my startup project and then we need to select our image from our device when a button gets clicked so you need to handle that event this pass object sender as even argument and then we will select picture asynchronously that's all and this is the method that is going to be handled over here that's all now let us start our project whether it gives us a correct output or not now let us wait for some time then let us pick our photos from our device I recommend you to use a physical device then let us select an image after our image gets loaded then will get our expected output as indoor laptop as well as computer you can put some text to speech over here and then play around with it i have to stop that activity indicator running now let us go to our code then from here we can stop our activity indicator as running is equals to false that's all thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials